Hey there gamers, welcome back to our channel, Marvelous Gamers, where we bring you the latest news from the world of gaming. Today we are going to take a journey down the memory lane and explore the Nintendo 64, a console that has given us numerous unforgettable classics. While games such as Super Mario 64 and The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time have rightfully earned their place in gaming history, there are many other hidden gems that are often missed. That's why we have put together a list of the top 50 underrated Nintendo 64 games that are a must-play. These games range from action-packed shooters to charming platformers and everything in between. Get ready to discover some incredible titles that deserve more recognition. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Doom 64 1997 Let's kick off our list of games with Doom 64, which was released back in 1997. Although the Doom franchise is legendary, Doom 64 tends to be overlooked. Developed by Midway Games, this first-person shooter took the already intense action and atmospheric visuals to the next level on the Nintendo 64. Doom 64's dark and moody environments, gripping sound design and fast-paced gameplay made for an exhilarating experience that fully showcased the system's capabilities. The game's use of lighting, shadows and eerie ambience created a haunting atmosphere that fully immersed players in its demonic world. By achieving such high levels of gameplay and technical prowess, Doom 64 set a new standard for first-person shooters on consoles, even though it never received the recognition it truly deserved. Doom 64 also boasted an expanded level design, new enemy types and a captivating story that deepened the lore of the Doom universe. It demonstrated the console's ability to handle intense, action-packed experiences and highlighted the importance of atmosphere and immersion in the genre. Despite being overshadowed by its PC counterpart, Doom 64 remains a hidden gem that showcases the Nintendo 64's capabilities as a platform for thrilling and atmospheric shooters. Jet Force Gemini 1999 Next up, we have Jet Force Gemini, released in 1999. It was a game developed by Rare that took place on an intergalactic journey, fighting insectoid enemies and exploring vast alien worlds. What made Jet Force Gemini truly remarkable was its innovative third-person shooting mechanics and its cooperative multiplayer mode, which allowed friends to team up and experience the adventure together. With its expansive levels, memorable characters and engaging gameplay, Jet Force Gemini proved that Rare was ahead of its time in creating immersive and dynamic gaming experiences. The game's mix of exploration, combat and cooperative play was a true testament to the creativity and ambition of its developers. Jet Force Gemini stood out with its detailed graphics, smooth controls and deep storyline that kept players invested throughout their quest. The game's ability to seamlessly switch between different characters, each with their unique abilities, added a layer of depth to the gameplay. Jet Force Gemini's non-linear approach to level design and the inclusion of collectibles encouraged exploration, rewarding players who took the time to uncover its secrets. With its diverse gameplay elements and captivating narrative, Jet Force Gemini was an underrated gem that pushed the boundaries of what an action-adventure game could achieve on the Nintendo 64. Snowboard Kids 1998 Moving on to our third game, Snowboard Kids was released in 1998. This charming racing game mixed the thrill of snowboarding with wacky power-ups and fast-paced multiplayer action. Snowboard Kids brought a unique and addictive twist to the racing genre, offering an imaginative array of tracks, quirky characters and exciting shortcuts. The game's graphics were vibrant and full of personality, capturing the fun and light-hearted spirit of the game. Snowboard Kids allowed players to perform tricks, unleash devastating power-ups, and compete against friends in split-screen multiplayer races, providing an experience that was both accessible and enjoyable for gamers of all ages. 
Moreover, Snowboard Kids introduced an upgrade system where players could purchase new boards and items to improve their performance, adding a strategic element to the gameplay. This feature, combined with the game's catchy soundtrack and addictive multiplayer modes, made Snowboard Kids a standout title that truly deserved more recognition. It was a game that demonstrated the Nintendo 64's ability to deliver thrilling racing experiences beyond the traditional kart racers, setting the stage for future snowboarding and extreme sports games to come. Blast Core 1997 Let's move on to Blast Core, a puzzling action game released in 1997 and developed by Rare. In this game, players took on the role of a demolition expert whose task was to clear a path for a runaway nuclear missile carrier. Blast Core featured a variety of vehicles and challenging levels that required strategic thinking and precise maneuvering. What made this game exceptional was its destructive gameplay mechanics and the sheer satisfaction of demolishing buildings and obstacles. Each level presented unique challenges that tested players' abilities to plan and execute their demolition strategies accurately. Blast Core's wide range of vehicles from giant mechs to speedy cars provided different playstyles, ensuring that the gameplay never became monotonous. The game's dynamic environments required careful navigation and destruction, creating an immersive and engaging experience. Blast Core also had hidden secrets and bonus stages, incentivizing players to explore and fully master each level. With its inventive blend of puzzle-solving, action and destruction, Blast Core demonstrated Rare's ability to think outside the box and deliver a unique gaming experience that stood out even in the crowded Nintendo 64 library. Super Mario 64 1996 One of the most iconic titles of the Nintendo 64 is Super Mario 64, which was released in 1996. Although it is not underrated, it is important to highlight how advanced this game was for its time. Super Mario 64 revolutionized the platforming genre by introducing fully 3D environments and open-world structure and innovative camera controls. It set a new standard for level design and gameplay mechanics, influencing countless games that came after it. The game's expansive and interconnected levels, along with its precise controls and imaginative worlds, made it a masterpiece that showcased Nintendo's unrivaled ability to push boundaries and captivate players. Super Mario 64 allowed players to freely explore Princess Peach's castle and dive into vibrant and diverse worlds through magical paintings. Each level was a playground of creativity, filled with secrets, multiple objectives and hidden stars to discover. The game's dynamic camera system, which adapted to the player's movements, provided a level of control and immersion that was groundbreaking at the time. Super Mario 64's innovative design and flawless execution solidified it as a timeless classic and a shining example of Nintendo's commitment to delivering unparalleled gaming experiences. Winback 1999 Moving on to the next game, Winback was launched in 1999 and developed by Omega Force. This third-person shooter was ahead of its time with its innovative cover-based mechanics that are now standard in the genre. Playing as Jean-Luc Cougar, a strategic covert actions team member, players infiltrated enemy bases and engaged in intense firefights. Playing as Jean-Luc Cougar, a strategic covert actions team member, players infiltrated enemy bases and engaged in intense firefights. What made Winback unique was its groundbreaking peek around corner feature that allowed for strategic peeking and taking cover, adding a layer of depth to the gameplay. This revolutionary mechanic influenced future games and showcased the Nintendo 64's capability of offering exceptional gameplay experiences. Winback also boasted a gripping story filled with surprises and kept players engaged throughout the game's missions. Its cinematic presentation, voice acting and intense set pieces added to the immersive experience. The game's challenging AI and diverse level designs provided a sense of excitement and kept players alert. 
Although Win Mac may have been overlooked by some, it remains a standout title that pushed the boundaries of what a third-person shooter could achieve on the Nintendo 64. Gilmon's Great Adventure 1998 In 1998, Konami released Gilmon's Great Adventure, a charming and quirky platformer that provided an enjoyable co-op adventure in a fantastical world. The game featured Gilmon and his friends battling enemies, solving puzzles and embarking on a quest to save their homeland. Gilmon's Great Adventure stood out with its unique art style, humor-filled dialogue and diverse gameplay mechanics that seamlessly blended performing, action and RPG elements. The levels were beautifully designed, showcasing the creativity and attention to detail of the developers. Each area was filled with secrets to discover and challenges to overcome. Additionally, the game's cast of characters with their unique abilities added depth and variety to the gameplay. Gurman's Great Adventure also allowed local co-op play where friends could join forces and tackle the adventure together, fostering a sense of camaraderie and shared enjoyment. Overall, with its distinctive style, memorable characters and imaginative gameplay, Gourmand's Great Adventure was a hidden gem that expanded the boundaries of what a platformer could be on the Nintendo 64. <laughs> Castlevania Legacy of Darkness 1999 Castlevania Legacy of Darkness, released in 1999, was a prequel to Castlevania 64 that expanded on its gameplay and story. It introduced new characters, improved controls, and a more intricate storyline, showcasing the depth and atmosphere that the Castlevania series is known for. Showcasing the depth and atmosphere that the Castlevania series is known for. The game's gothic visuals, haunting soundtrack, and challenging gameplay captivated players, immersing them in a dark and atmospheric world. Legacy of Darkness featured interconnected levels filled with secrets, hidden paths, and challenging enemies. It introduced multiple playable characters, each with their unique abilities and storylines, adding replay value and a fresh perspective on the narrative. The improved controls and camera system addressed some of the concerns of its predecessor. With its combination of challenging combat, intricate level design and captivating storytelling, Legacy of Darkness is an underrated gem that demonstrated the Nintendo 64's ability to deliver a deep and immersive action-adventure experience. The game's atmospheric soundtrack further heightened the sense of immersion and provided a haunting backdrop to the intense gameplay. Beetle Adventure Racing 1999 Beetle Adventure Racing, released in 1999 for the Nintendo 64, was an exceptional racing game developed by Paradigm Entertainment. Players had the opportunity to drive Volkswagen Beetles on creative and intricate tracks with an open-world layout, hidden shortcuts and plenty of secrets to uncover. The game featured stunning environments, including picturesque jungles, snowy mountains, and bustling cities, which added to the racing experience's sense of immersion and exploration. Beetle Adventure Racing's attention to detail, dynamic weather effects, and interactive elements in the environments all contributed to an elevated racing experience. The game's responsive controls, well-designed tracks, and challenging AI opponents created a captivating and competitive racing atmosphere. The addition of various game modes, including multiplayer split-screen, ensured that Beetle Adventure Racing provided long-lasting entertainment. This game proved that the Nintendo 64 was capable of delivering immersive and exciting racing experiences that went beyond the standard arcade-style racing games. Overall, Beetle Adventure Racing remains a classic racing game that stands out for its unique gameplay and impressive attention to detail. Body Harvest 1998 
Let's take a look at Body Harvest, which was released in 1998. Developed by DNA Design, this action-adventure game incorporated open-world exploration, vehicle combat, and time travel. Players took on the role of Adam Drake, a genetically engineered soldier fighting against an alien invasion across various time periods. Body Harvest's impressive features includes its massive environments, diverse enemy types, and non-linear structure. Body Harvest stood out from other games on the Nintendo 64 due to its ambitious scope and innovative gameplay mechanics. The game allowed players to explore vast areas, battle enemies, and use various vehicles to navigate the terrain. The time travel aspect was particularly unique, allowing players to jump between different eras and see the impact of their actions. The game's dynamic enemy AI and challenging combat made every encounter intense and rewarding. Another impressive aspect of Body Harvest was its use of the Nintendo 64's technical capabilities, with expansive draw distances and detailed environments. The game's atmospheric soundtrack and engaging storyline enhanced the immersive experience. Experience. Despite being overlooked by some, Body Harvest remains an innovative title that pushed the boundaries of what an action-adventure game could achieve on the Nintendo 64. San Francisco Rush 2049 Up next is San Francisco Rush 2049, which hit shelves in 2000. Developed by Atari Games, this thrilling racing game transported players to the post-apocalyptic streets of San Francisco. What set San Francisco Rush 2049 apart was its inventive track design, realistic physics, and extensive selection of customizable vehicles. The game's emphasis on height and intricate level layouts allowed for exciting shortcuts, massive jumps, and gravity-defying stunts. San Francisco Rush 2049 also offered a robust stunt mode and a deep multiplayer experience, providing gamers with hours of exhilarating gameplay. The Nintendo 64's impressive graphics were showcased in San Francisco Rush 2049 with intricate environments, dynamic lighting effects, and smooth frame rates. The immersive sound design, complete with roaring engines and screeching tires added to the overall racing experience. The game's extensive customization options, from vehicle upgrades to unlockable content, added depth and replay value. San Francisco Rush 2049 pushed the limits of what a racing game could offer on the Nintendo 64 and established a new standard for futuristic racing games with its innovative gameplay, stunning visuals, and captivating multiplayer modes. Harvest Moon 64 Harvest Moon 64 was released in 1999 and developed by Victor Interactive Software. This charming farming and life simulation game provided an immersive and relaxing experience on the Nintendo 64, allowing players to take on the role of a young farmer and manage their farm while interacting with the townsfolk and experiencing rural life's joys and challenges. The game's gameplay was not limited to farm management. It also emphasized the importance of building relationships with the game's characters, fostering friendships, and even pursuing romance. Harvest Moon 64's dynamic and ever-changing world was created by its intricate day-night cycle, changing seasons and evolving town events, providing players with a sense of immersion with its charming visuals, soothing music, and the ability to witness the gradual growth and transformation of the farm. The game offered a wide range of activities such as farming, fishing, mining, and participating in various festivals, making each playthrough unique and personal due to its open-ended nature. Harvest Moon 64 stood out as a standout title due to its emphasis on time management, resource allocation, and community interaction, providing a truly immersive and rewarding gameplay experience on the Nintendo 64. Vigilante 8 1999 In 1999, 
Luxoflux developed Vigilante 8, a thrilling vehicular combat game that was released on Nintendo 64. With a diverse cast of characters, players could choose unique vehicles and weapons to engage in high-stakes battles across various post-apocalyptic environments. The gameplay combined fast-paced action and strategic decision-making with a wide selection of destructive weapons and power-ups. Interactive environments created dynamic and unpredictable battles, and players had to master maneuvering their vehicles dodging incoming attacks and strategically using their arsenal to gain the upper hand. The game's multiplayer mode supports up to four players, providing intense and memorable showdowns among friends. Vigilante 8's attention to detail was impressive, with environmental destruction and realistic physics allowing players to demolish buildings, trigger explosive chain reactions, and witness the aftermath of their chaotic battles. The game's vibrant graphics, energetic soundtrack, and immersive sound effects further enhanced the intensity of the gameplay. Vigilante 8 was a groundbreaking Nintendo 64 title that offered an exhilarating vehicular combat experience ahead of its time. Yeah. Mystical Ninja Starring Gomon Let's delve into the Mystical Ninja Starring Gomon, which was released by Konami in 1997. This action-adventure game was a unique blend of platforming, RPG elements, and Japanese humor. Players were transported on a colorful journey through feudal Japan, where they faced off against wacky enemies and solved puzzles. Mystical Ninja Starring Gomon's standout feature was its captivating art style that combined traditional Japanese aesthetic with imaginative environments. The game's witty dialogue, charming characters, and quirky sense of humor added a layer of lightheartedness to the gameplay. Players could switch between different characters, each with their own abilities, promoting strategic gameplay and teamwork. The game's soundtrack, ranging from traditional Japanese melodies to rock music, further immersed players in its whimsical world. Mystical Ninja starring Gomon showcased the Nintendo 64's capacity to deliver visually stunning and culturally inspired experiences that went beyond typical genres. It remains an overlooked gem that pushed the boundaries of what an action-adventure game could achieve on the Nintendo 64, leaving a lasting impression on those who had the pleasure of experiencing its charm. <laughs> Mickey Speedway USA In 2000, Rare introduced Mickey Speedway USA, a car racing game featuring beloved Disney characters. The game's vibrant and colorful visuals captured the essence of iconic US locations while adding a touch of whimsy that made it stand out. Its intuitive controls, responsive handling, and well-balanced power-ups offer an enjoyable and competitive racing experience suitable for all ages. The championship races and time trials were just the beginning, as they also offered multiplayer battles, providing endless hours of entertainment. What made the game special was the attention to detail that extended beyond its visuals. The authentic voice cast and the inclusion of various Disney characters added a sense of nostalgia and familiarity to the experience. It was a light-hearted and accessible racing game that showcased the Nintendo 64's ability to deliver a unique kart racing experience for Disney fans and enthusiasts alike. Mickey's Speedway USA remains an underrated gem that deserves more recognition. It was a game that captured the magic of Disney and the fun of kart racing, making it a memorable experience for anyone who played it. Its legacy lives on as fans still remember it fondly, and it continues to be a game that stands the test of time. Mickey Speedway USA is a classic that should not be missed with its vibrant visuals, responsive controls, and endless hours of entertainment. <laughs> Mace The Dark Age 1997 Let's talk about the 1997 release Mace The Dark Age, developed by Atari Games. This 3D fighting game brought intense medieval combat to the Nintendo 64. What made Mace The Dark Age stand out from other fighting games was its diverse cast of characters, each with their unique weapons and fighting styles adding depth and variety to the gameplay. The game's attention to details such as character animations, fluid combat mechanics, and interactive environments showcased the Nintendo 64's ability to deliver engaging and visceral fighting experiences. Mace The Dark Ages single-player mode featured captivating storylines for each character, 
providing context and motivation for their battles. The game's multiplayer mode supports up to four players, offering exciting and competitive matchups among friends. The fluidity of the character movements and the variety of combo attacks further highlighted the technical prowess of the Nintendo 64. Despite its achievements in the fighting game genre, Mace the Dark Age remains an underrated gem that showcased the console's potential to deliver immersive and thrilling combat experiences. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time was released in 1998 and developed by Nintendo. This action-adventure game is widely considered to be one of the best games of all time. In this game, players take on the role of Link and embark on an epic journey to stop the malevolent Ganondorf and save Princess Zelda. This groundbreaking title introduced gamers to a 3D action-adventure gameplay and set new standards for level design, storytelling, and game mechanics. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time showcased the Nintendo 64's capabilities with its vast open world, detailed environments, and dynamic day-night cycle. The game's clever use of the Ocarina as a gameplay tool, intuitive lock-on targeting system, and innovative Z-targeting mechanic demonstrated the console's ability to deliver complex and immersive gameplay experiences. The game received universal acclaim for its engaging narrative, emotional impact, and memorable characters. Its captivating soundtrack composed by Koji Kondo further elevated the game's immersive world and emotional moments. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is a timeless classic that pushed the boundaries of storytelling and gameplay on the Nintendo 64, leaving an enduring legacy in the gaming industry. Hybrid Heaven 1999 The 1999 release of Hybrid Heaven by Konami was a groundbreaking action RPG that incorporated turn-based and real-time fighting. It provided a distinct and enjoyable gameplay experience on the Nintendo 64. Players took on the role of Diaz, an agent investigating an enigmatic underground facility. The game's combat system offered strategic options between turn-based and real-time battles, delivering tactical complexity and decision-making. Hybrid Heaven demonstrated the Nintendo 64's ability to provide an engaging story-driven adventure with its intricate plot twists, well-crafted characters, and intricate storyline. The game's exploration and puzzle-solving elements went beyond the traditional RPG genre, adding complexity to the gameplay. Hybrid Heaven's character customization, skill progression, and upgrade system enabled players to customize Diaz's abilities to their preferred gameplay style. The game's exceptional blend of genres and innovative combat mechanics made it an underrated masterpiece, providing a unique and captivating gameplay experience on the Nintendo 64. Ogre Battle 64 Person of Lordly Caliber 1999 Let's delve into Ogre Battle 64, Person of Lordly Caliber, which was released in 1999 and developed by Quest. This tactical RPG was a hit on the Nintendo 64, providing players with a complex and strategic experience. Ogre Battle 64 boasted a fascinating storyline that allowed players to make decisions that would impact the game's narrative and outcome. Players had to lead an army through various battles, make tactical decisions, and manage troops to achieve victory. Ogre Battle 64 demonstrated the Nintendo 64's ability to offer deep and strategic gameplay thanks to its complex battle mechanics, unit management, and character classes. The game's multiple endings and branching paths provided replay value and encouraged players to experiment with different tactics. The game's stunning 2D artwork, beautiful sprite animations, and detailed environments contributed to the grandeur of its fantasy world. Its atmospheric soundtrack and gripping narrative further enhanced the game's immersive experience. Ogre Battle 64 is an underrated gem that broke new ground in tactical RPGs on the Nintendo 64, providing strategy enthusiasts with a rich and captivating experience. Mischief Makers 1997 
Released in 1997, Mischief Makers was a side-scrolling platformer developed by Treasure that offered a thrilling and distinctive gameplay experience on the Nintendo 64. Players took control of Marina, a robotic maid, on a mission to rescue her creator from an evil emperor. Mischief Makers showcased the Nintendo 64's precision controls, imaginative level design, and clever use of 2.5D graphics to deliver high-speed platforming action. The game's mechanics allowed Marina to shake, grab, and throw objects and enemies in various directions, creating dynamic and engaging gameplay. The game's vibrant and colorful visuals, charming character animations, and energetic soundtrack made Mischief Makers stand out. The innovative gameplay mechanics such as riding missiles and executing acrobatic maneuvers added a layer of excitement and challenge to each level. Despite its unique gameplay and positive reception from critics, Mischief Makers remains an underrated gem that pushed the boundaries of platforming games on the Nintendo 64, providing an action-packed and fun-filled experience for players of all ages. Well, two, off the front of the ring, from the arc, off the side of the ring, tosses it, one minute to die above the ring. NBA Hangtime 1996 Let's move on to NBA Hangtime, which was released in 1996 and developed by Midway Games. This arcade-style basketball game was a blast to play on the Nintendo 64 with its fast-paced and thrilling gameplay. The console's smooth and responsive controls made it easy to perform impressive moves such as dunks and alley-oops. NBA Hangtime's flashy visuals, customizable players, and exaggerated animations made it a fun and stylish take on basketball. The multiplayer mode, which could accommodate up to four players, was intense and competitive, making it a hit among friends. With its selection of NBA teams and players, as well as fantasy elements like power-ups and special moves, NBA Hangtime offered a unique and exciting twist on traditional basketball games. It was truly an underrated gem that showcased the Nintendo 64's ability to deliver accessible yet exciting sports gameplay that appealed to both casual and hardcore gamers. Quest 64 1998 Let's talk about Quest 64, which was released in 1998 and developed by Imagineer. This role-playing game offered players a traditional RPG experience on the Nintendo 64, with the player assuming the role of Brian, a young apprentice mage on a quest to find his missing father. Quest 64 demonstrated the Nintendo 64's capability to provide a vast open world, various environments, and a deep character progression system that allowed for a classic turn-based RPG. The game's magical combat, spell customization, and enemy encounters added strategic depth to the gameplay, and its unique magic system allowed for players to learn and combat different spells to gain control over their character's development and fighting style. Additionally, the game's atmospheric soundtrack and charming visuals further drew players into the fantasy world of Keltland. Although Quest 64 received criticism for its simplistic gameplay and linear narrative, it remains an underrated gem that showcased the Nintendo 64's ability to deliver a classic RPG experience for fans of the genre. Space Station Silicon Valley 1998 Let's talk about Space Station Silicon Valley, which was released in 1998 and developed by DNA Design. This puzzle platformer was a unique and quirky game that offered players the chance to control a microchip capable of taking over a variety of robotic creatures, each with their own abilities. Space Station Silicon Valley was an impressive showcase of the Nintendo 64's technical capabilities. The game boasted stunning 3D graphics, dynamic environments, and an array of robotic creatures that added to the game's charm and personality. The game's puzzles and platforming challenges require players to think creatively and strategically in order to progress through each level. With its witty humor, imaginative level design, and engaging gameplay mechanics, Space Station Silicon Valley demonstrated the Nintendo 64's potential to deliver innovative and creative experiences that appealed to players of all ages. Despite not receiving the recognition it deserves, this game remains a hidden gem that pushed the boundaries of puzzle platformers on the Nintendo 64 and provided players with a refreshingly original and enjoyable gaming experience. Go 
Robotsu no Mori 2001 In 2001, Nintendo developed and released Dobutsu no Mori, a life simulation game that provided players with a charming and peaceful experience on the Nintendo 64 console. Dobutsu no Mori, which is known as Animal Crossing in the Western world, allowed players to relocate to a cozy village inhabited by anthropomorphic animals. The game's real-time gameplay, changing seasons and everyday activities created a dynamic and ever-evolving environment for players to explore, showcasing the Nintendo 64's immersive and open-ended virtual world capabilities. Dobutsu no Mori encouraged socializing with the animal villagers, enabling players to develop friendships and participate in various community events. The game's delightful visuals, soothing music, and light-hearted tone provided a sense of comfort and relaxation. Dobutsu no Mori's ability to seamlessly blend real-life activities with a whimsical charm made it a hidden gem that demonstrated the Nintendo 64's potential to deliver a distinct and immersive life simulation experience. Rocket Robot on Wheels One of the most innovative and entertaining games to hit the Nintendo 64 console was Rocket Robot on Wheels, which was released in 1999. Developed by Sucker Punch Productions, this 3D platformer game allowed players to control a highly customizable robot named Rocket, who navigated through an amusement park, solving puzzles, and collecting tickets. The game's level design was seamless, and the environments were highly detailed, showcasing the Nintendo 64's technical capabilities. Rocket Robot on Wheels offered players a truly unique gaming experience, combining platforming challenges with physics-based puzzles that required players to use their creativity and problem-solving skills to progress. The game's mechanics allowed players to manipulate objects and take advantage of Rocket's various abilities to overcome obstacles and complete puzzles. The game's whimsical visuals, charming characters, and humorous dialogue made it a light-hearted and enjoyable experience for players of all ages. The blend of platforming challenges and physics-based puzzles demonstrated the Nintendo 64's ability to deliver engaging and imaginative gameplay beyond traditional genres. Overall, Rocket Robot on Wheels was a highly innovative and entertaining game that left a lasting impact on the gaming industry. Morita Shogi 64 Morita Shogi 64 is a game that has stood the test of time. Released in 1998, this traditional Japanese board game was developed by Seta Corporation and offered a comprehensive and authentic shogi experience on the Nintendo 64. The game's focus on authenticity and attention to detail was evident in its meticulous representation of the different shogi piece movements and strategic gameplay. Morita Shogi 64 catered to both experienced players and beginners, with various difficulty levels, tutorials, and practice modes. The intuitive controls and user-friendly interface made it accessible to a wider audience, showcasing the Nintendo 64's potential to deliver authentic and engaging experiences beyond action-packed titles. The game was a testament to Seta Corporation's dedication to delivering a polished and accurate representation of the classic game. Overall, Morita Shogi 64 is a must-play for anyone interested in the rich history and strategic gameplay of Shogi. Conker's Bad Fur Day Conker's Bad Fur Day, released in 2001 and developed by Rare, was an irreverent and satirical action platformer that provided a mature and hilarious gaming experience on the Nintendo 64. Players controlled Conker, a foul-mouthed squirrel, as they embarked on a series of comical and often crude adventures. The game's edgy and unique tone was showcased through its witty humor, movie parodies, and pop culture references. In addition, Conker's Bad Fur Day offered diverse gameplay elements, including platforming, shooting, and puzzle solving, which added depth and variety to the experience. The game's impressive graphics, voice acting, and engaging storytelling demonstrated the Nintendo 64's potential to deliver a mature and narrative-driven experience. Despite its critical acclaim, 
Conker's Bad Fur Day remains an underrated gem that defied the conventional platformer on the Nintendo 64, leaving a lasting impression on players who appreciated its subversive humor and unconventional storytelling. The New Tetris Let's talk about the New Tetris, which was released in 1999 and developed by H2O Entertainment. This puzzle game put a unique spin on the iconic Tetris formula on the Nintendo 64, offering innovative gameplay mechanics like the ability to create and clear tetrimino squares and form unique shapes. The game's graphics were visually stunning and the music was captivating and the gameplay mechanics were seamless all of which showcased the impressive technical capabilities of the Nintendo 64. The new Tetris had a variety of game modes including multiplayer support for up to four players, providing endless hours of competitive and strategic fun. The game's emphasis on strategic thinking and planning demonstrated that the console could deliver more than just action-packed titles. The new Tetris was a testament to how a classic game like Tetris could evolve and provide a fresh experience on the Nintendo 64. It was an underrated gem that appealed to both puzzle enthusiasts and casual gamers. Turok 3 Shadow of Oblivion Turok 3 Shadow of Oblivion, developed by Acclaim Studios Austin and released in 2000, was an impressive first-person shooter on the Nintendo 64. Players could assume different characters, each with unique abilities, to fight against a daunting extraterrestrial threat. The game's detailed environments, smooth frame rates, and responsive controls showcased the console's ability to deliver immersive and fast-paced shooting experiences. With a compelling storyline and intense gunplay and impressive enemy A1, Turok 3 Shadow of Oblivion is an underrated gem that demonstrated the console's potential to deliver thrilling first-person shooter gameplay on par with other platforms of its time. The game's atmospheric world is filled with suspense and tension, thanks to the Nintendo 64's ability to deliver a gripping and cinematic experience. Turok 3 Shadow of Oblivion proved that the Nintendo 64 was capable of delivering exhilarating and challenging first-person shooting action, making it a standout title in the console's library. Shadow Man 1999 Released in 1999, Shadow Man was an action-adventure game that offered a unique and atmospheric experience on the Nintendo 64. Developed by Acclaim Studios T-Side, the game's dark themes, haunting visuals, and mature storyline set it apart from other titles on the console. Players assumed the role of Michael Leroy, the titular character, as he navigated between the worlds of the living and the dead to thwart a sinister threat. Shadow Man's intricate level design, challenging puzzles, and gripping narrative showcased the Nintendo 64's potential to deliver an immersive and atmospheric action-adventure experience. The game's captivating and eerie world was brought to life through the console's graphical capabilities, making it an underrated gem that pushed the boundaries of storytelling and atmosphere on the Nintendo 64. Its dark and somber world left a lasting impact on players, who appreciated its unique and captivating gameplay. Snowboard Kids 2 Snowboard Kids 2, which was released in 1999 and developed by Rakdem, is the next game on our list. This snowboarding racing game provided players with a delightful and fast-paced gaming experience on the Nintendo 64. With power-ups and tricks to gain an edge over opponents, Snowboard Kids 2 took place on thrilling races down snowy slopes. The game's colorful visuals, smooth controls, and enjoyable gameplay showcased the Nintendo 64's ability to deliver fun and exciting racing experiences. The gameplay was enhanced with a charming cast of characters, each with their unique snowboarding style, adding depth to the gameplay. Snowboard Kids 2 proved to be an underrated gem, offering players a unique and enjoyable snowboarding experience with improved mechanics and refined gameplay over its predecessor. The game's focus on providing a fun and accessible multiplayer experience made it a hit among friends and family proving that the Nintendo 64 was not just about single-player adventures.
StarCraft 64 StarCraft 64, developed by Blizzard Entertainment and released in 2000, was a real-time strategy game that provided a compelling and strategic gameplay experience on the Nintendo 64. Players had the option to choose from three unique factors, namely Terran, Zerg and Protoss and fought intense battles across space. The game's intricate unit management and base-building mechanics, along with its deep and strategic gameplay, demonstrated the potential of the Nintendo 64 to deliver immersive and challenging strategy experiences. Additionally, StarCraft 64 had a comprehensive single-player campaign with varied missions that tested players' tactical skills. Furthermore, the game had the Brood War expansion content on the cartridge, which made it a value-packed experience. Despite the hardware limitations of the Nintendo 64, the game's impressive translation of the PC original highlighted the console's capabilities and the developer's dedication to providing an engaging and authentic experience. Even today, StarCraft 64 is an underrated gem that showcased the Nintendo 64's ability to handle complex and strategic games, leaving a lasting impression on fans of the genre. Castlevania 64 Let's discuss Castlevania 64, a game released in 1999 by Konami. It's an action-adventure game that gives players an eerie and gothic experience on the Nintendo 64. You can play as Reinhard Schneider or Curry Fernandez, both vampire hunters sent to explore Dracula's castle. The game's visuals, soundtrack and level design were haunting, and they showcased the Nintendo 64's ability to deliver an immersive and dark gaming experience. Experience. Castlevania 64 provided a challenging game with platforming segments, intense combat, and intriguing puzzles, making it a rewarding and atmospheric adventure. In addition, the game introduced the 3D action-adventure format to the Castlevania series, and its multiple storylines added replayability. This showed that the Nintendo 64 was capable of delivering a captivating action-adventure title with a compelling narrative and a memorable setting. Although Castle Castlevania 64 received mixed reviews when it was released, it remains an underrated gem that highlighted the Nintendo 64's potential to provide an engaging and atmospheric action-adventure experience. Mission Impossible The action-adventure game Mission Impossible, released in 1998 and developed by Infogrames, delivered an exhilarating and cinematic experience on the Nintendo 64. Players assumed the role of Ethan Hunt, played by Tom Cruise in the movie franchise, and embarked on a series of perilous missions filled with espionage. With its impressive graphics, diverse gameplay mechanics, and captivating missions, Mission Impossible showcased the Nintendo 64's potential to provide a movie-inspired gaming experience. The game incorporated elements of stealth, high-octane action sequences, and puzzle-solving, fully immersing players in the world of intrigue and espionage. Despite the technical limitations of the console, Mission Impossible successfully captured the heart-pumping atmosphere of the movie series, making it a hidden gem that offered a distinctive and cinematic action-adventure experience. The game enabled players to experience the thrill of being a top-secret agent thanks to the console's capacity to provide a gripping and immersive spy adventure. Aiden Chronicles The First Mage Aiden Chronicles The First Mage, which came out in 2001, was a captivating role-playing game that provided an extensive and immersive gaming experience on the Nintendo 64 console. The game follows the journey of Alaron, a young squire who unexpectedly finds himself caught up in a grand adventure that would shape the destiny of the entire world. The game's most remarkable aspect was its expansive open world, which permitted players to explore various landscapes and encounter diverse characters freely. Moreover, Aiden Chronicles' moral decision-making system added an intriguing a layer of complexity to the storyline, as players' choices had lasting consequences. The game's dynamic characters and their individual story arcs brought depth and emotion to the game's epic tale. Despite facing technical difficulties and receiving mixed reviews upon release, 
Aizen Chronicles illustrated the Nintendo 64's potential to deliver a complex and narrative-driven RPG experience, even with the hardware's limitations. It remains an underrated gem that offers a rich and engrossing adventure for fans of the genre. Nothing to lose! Hey, stunning player two! Fighter's Destiny In 1998, a fighting game called Fighter's Destiny was released that offered a unique and strategic gameplay experience. Unlike traditional fighting games that relied on health bar system, Fighter's Destiny rewarded players with points for successful attacks and throws. The game featured a diverse roster of fighters, each with their own distinct fighting styles and moves, adding to the overall engaging experience on the Nintendo 64. What set Fighter's Destiny apart was its point-based system, which demanded players to strategize and employ different tactics to accumulate points and achieve victory. By deviating from the norm, Fighter's Destiny revolutionized the fighting game genre, showcasing the Nintendo 64's potential to deliver a fresh and exciting experience for both veterans and newcomers. With its deep mechanics and challenging gameplay, Fighter's Destiny left a lasting impression on those who sought something innovative and entertaining within the genre. Iggy's Wrecking Balls Released in 1998, Iggy's Wrecking Balls was an action-packed puzzle game that offered an exciting and unusual gaming experience on the Nintendo 64. The game's imaginative concept involved controlling quirky characters inside spherical vehicles as they battled to be the last ones standing on rotating platforms. Iggy's Wrecking Balls proved to be a popular choice amongst gamers, especially those looking for a fun-filled multiplayer experience with friends and family. The game featured a variety of engaging multiplayer modes for up to four players, making it an excellent choice for entertaining party games. One of the standout features of Eggie's Rick and Balls was its charming visuals and creative level design. The game showcased the Nintendo 64's potential for delivering entertaining and enjoyable experiences that stood the test of time. Despite not being a commercial success, Iggy's Wrecking Balls remains an underrated gem that provided a fresh and creative take on multiplayer mayhem. It demonstrated that the Nintendo 64 was a console that fostered creativity and experimentation, producing unique and enjoyable gaming experiences that continue to to be celebrated by fans to this day. Buck Bumble. In 1998, Buck Bumble was released, an action shooter game that provided players with a one of a kind and imaginative game experience on the Nintendo 64. The game's protagonist was a cybernetic bee named Buck Bumble, who was fitted with jet thrusters and took part in high flying combat against a swarm of rogue insects. The game's vibrant visuals, infectious soundtrack, and unconventional premise highlighted the Nintendo 64's ability to offer eccentric and enjoyable titles. Buck Bumble featured a range of weapons, each with its unique abilities and a diverse set of missions, providing depth and excitement to the gameplay. Despite receiving positive feedback from critics and having a distinctive charm, Buck Bumble remains an unappreciated gem that showcased the Nintendo 64's ability to offer imaginative and offbeat experiences. The game's innovative storytelling and gameplay approach made it a standout game in the console's library, attracting a loyal fanbase that holds the game dear to this day. Chameleon Twist Chameleon Twist, a game released in 1997, is a platformer that was truly ahead of its time. It offered players an engaging and unique gaming experience on the Nintendo 64. The game follows the adventures of Davy, a chameleon with an extendable tongue, as he ventures through vibrant and challenging worlds. What makes Chameleon Twist stand out from other platformers of its time is its creative level design and unique gameplay mechanics. The extendable tongue feature feature 
allows players to swing, grab enemies and solve puzzles, adding an innovative twist to traditional platforming gameplay. This feature, coupled with the game's charming art style and whimsical atmosphere, truly showcases the Nintendo 64's potential for delivering imaginative and enjoyable platforming adventures. Despite not receiving widespread attention, Chameleon Twist remains an underrated gem that provided a fresh and innovative take on the platforming genre. Its unique gameplay mechanics and creative level design make it a beloved cult classic among Nintendo 64 enthusiasts. If you're looking for a new and exciting gaming experience, Chameleon Twist is definitely worth checking out. Blues Brothers 2000 Blues Brothers 2000, which was released in 2000 on the Nintendo 64, was a platformer game that drew inspiration from the iconic movie. Players took on the roles of Elwood and Jake Blues, to embark on a musical adventure to save their friend. The game featured levels filled with rhythm-based puzzles, unique challenges and platforming sequences that captured the essence of the Blues Brothers universe. Blues Brothers 2000 effectively demonstrated the Nintendo 64's capability to deliver movie-based platformers with a fresh twist. The game's faithful recreation of the movie's essence and the engaging gameplay provided a delightful experience for fans of the movie and platform enthusiasts. Despite its solid offering, Blues Brothers 2000 remains an underrated gem that deserves more recognition among the Nintendo 64's diverse library. It offers a charming and groovy journey through the world of the Blues Brothers, combining the thrill of music and platforming in one exciting adventure. Army Men Air Combat Army Men Air Combat, which was released in 2000, is an action-packed flight combat game that took the Nintendo 64 by storm. Players had the opportunity to pilot toy helicopters and planes in intense aerial battles across various environments, ranging from living rooms to backyards. The game's engaging dogfights, inventive weapons and multiplayer mode provided hours of exhilarating gameplay that kept players glued to their screens. Army Men Air Combat was a game that demonstrated the Nintendo 64's capability to deliver thrilling aerial combat experiences. The game's miniature world of plastic soldiers, which was brought to life with stunning graphics and sound effects, was an innovative take on the battlefield. This unique perspective on aerial combat made the game stand out in the console's library. Despite its enjoyable gameplay, Army Men Air Combat remains an underrated gem that deserves more recognition for its innovative take on aerial combat on the Nintendo 64. It provides a toy-sized epic adventure for fans of action and plastic warfare, making it a must-play for anyone looking for a great game on this console. So if you still have a Nintendo 64, Army Men Air Combat is a game that you should not miss out on. Space Invaders Space Invaders, a classic arcade game, was released in 1999 and brought the whole arcade experience to the Nintendo 64. This game was a tribute to the nostalgic roots of Space Invaders, offering updated graphics and additional gameplay modes for a fresh experience. Players faced endless waves of alien invaders while shooting their way to the highest score. Space Invaders was a game that truly showcased the potential of the Nintendo 64 in delivering faithful recreations of iconic arcade classics. Its simple yet addictive gameplay and iconic retro visuals made it a charming addition to the console's vast library. Despite its positive reception, Space Invaders remains an underrated gem among the Nintendo 64's library of games, reminding players of the arcade nostalgia that influenced generations of gaming. Space Invaders is a timeless reminder of the enduring appeal of classic arcade experiences and the console's ability to preserve gaming's history. The Nintendo 64 version of Space Invaders is an excellent example of how classic arcade games can be improved and expanded while still retaining the charm and simplicity that made them so popular in the first place. Asteroids Hyper 64 Asteroids Hyper 64 was a modern adaptation of the classic arcade shooter that was released for the Nintendo 64 in 1999. Players had to navigate their spacecraft through space 
filled with asteroids, shooting down obstacles and enemies in thrilling and fast-paced action. This game showcased how the Nintendo 64 could update and reimagine classic arcade titles for a new generation. With its engaging level design, visual enhancements, and fast-paced gameplay, Asteroids Hyper 64 offered a fresh and enthralling take on the iconic Asteroids concept. Despite its solid offering, Asteroids Hyper 64 did not receive the attention it deserved in the Nintendo 64 library. It provided an exhilarating and unforgettable journey through the cosmos, reminding players of the golden age of retro gaming and introducing a new generation of players to the timeless appeal of arcade shooters. With its seamless blend of nostalgia and modern gaming elements, Asteroids Hyper 64 was an immersive and accessible experience for players of all skill levels, demonstrating the Nintendo 64's ability to deliver innovative and captivating game experiences. Knife Edge Nose Gunner Knife Edge Nose Gunner, released in 1998, provided a unique take on rail shooters for the Nintendo 64. Players became futuristic aircrafts, nose gunners, and engaged in intense battles against robotic enemies and massive bosses. The game's innovative approach to the genre and immersive cockpit view, along with its responsive controls, all contributed to the intensity and immersion of the experience. Additionally, players could choose from a diverse set of starfighters, each with unique attributes and weaponry, providing a varied and exciting gameplay experience. Despite receiving positive reviews and having solid gameplay, Knife Edge Nose Gunner remains an underrated gem that deserves more recognition for its thrilling and immersive rail shooter experience. It offers players a high-flying and adrenaline-fueled journey through the skies, providing an unforgettable and explosive arcade experience that showcases the Nintendo 64's ability to deliver heart-pounding aerial action and unique gaming experiences. Furthermore, the game's engaging co-op multiplayer mode added to its appeal, enabling players to team up and tackle the challenges together, highlighting the Nintendo 64's potential for delivering thrilling and social gaming experiences. Star Soldier Vanishing Earth Finally, we have Star Soldier Vanishing Earth, which came out in 1998. It was a shoot-em-up game for the Nintendo 64 that had vertical scrolling. Players had the opportunity to fly advanced starfighters and face off against a multitude of enemy ships and massive bosses in challenging battles. Star Soldier Vanishing Earth demonstrated the Nintendo 64's potential for delivering exciting shoot-em-ups. The game's refined gameplay, difficult levels, and emphasis on achieving high scores made it a standout title for fans of the genre. Players were able to choose from a diverse range of starfighters, each with its own unique qualities and weaponry, providing a varied and thrilling gameplay experience. Despite its strong offering, Star Soldier Vanishing Earth remains an underappreciated gem that deserves more recognition within the Nintendo 64's diverse gaming lineup. It provides an intense and captivating journey through the depths of space, offering an unforgettable and pulse-pounding arcade shooter experience that epitomizes the Nintendo 64's ability to provide exhilarating and challenging gaming experiences for players of all ages. Marvelous Verdict And there you have it, our top 50 underrated Nintendo 64 games. We hope you enjoy taking a trip down memory lane and discovering some hidden gems that you can't wait to play. Let us know in the comments which underrated Nintendo 64 games you loved or any other hidden gems you'd like to see featured in future videos. We appreciate you joining us and look forward to bringing you more gaming nostalgia and exciting adventures in the future. Until then, keep gaming and share your love for the classics. See you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share this video. And for more exciting videos, please subscribe to our channel.